Okay, good morning. Every year, there are over 100,000 deaths and over $5 billion in hospitalization costs due to adverse drug events. Genetic testing is not routine. However, if genetic testing were implemented on a more regular basis, many of these adverse drug events could be prevented. So have you ever known somebody with cancer? Chances are you probably have because one in two men and one in three women have a lifetime chance of having a cancer diagnosis. So when you go to the doctor and, or you take your loved one to the doctor, how do you know that the doctor knows which drugs will work for you? So let me give you an example. Um, colon cancer is, one of, is the third leading cause of death um, due to cancer. And in 2004, there was a drug that came on the market that was supposed to be a really great drug. And it, and it wasn't until many years later that it was discovered that this drug, which is, targets a certain protein, a genetic mutation in the cancer, it wasn't found until many years later that this particular drug, when combined with another genetic mutation that's completely unrelated that the patient has, when that happens, that patient actually does worse, has a worse outcome than if that patient had not received that treatment at all. When you go to your doctor, when you get a diagnosis, diagnosis of cancer, you don't expect to come out worse off. You expect to at least be made better. Why isn't genetic testing used more frequently? The problem is, is that it's expensive. It takes a long time. You have to send your sample off in the mail to a reference laboratory far away. You have to wait for the results to come back. And, when it's, and it takes highly trained personnel to run these samples. At Pandora Genomics, we personalize medicine. We have two products. We have the Hope Process software. This is a database and algorithm that is currently being used right now in some doctor's offices. And it allows us to take genetic information from the patient and decide and determine which drugs will work for that patient. It also allows us to look at whatever drugs the patient is on and determine which drugs will interact with the new drug that a physician may be wanting to use for that patient. Genetic testing is important not only in the <coughs> clinical setting, but it's also important in clinical trials. Because if we go back to the story that I just told you about the cancer drug that had worse outcomes for patients who had two genetic mutations, this would have been found a lot sooner had genetic testing been more routinely incorporated not only in the clinic, but also in the clinical trial process. Our second product is the Pandora's box, what we call Pandora's box. And it is a point of care handheld genetic testing device. It enables personalized medicine genetic testing to come on site to the physician's office. So it is faster because results will be within the time of an office visit. It is cheaper because it doesn't require being sent off to highly trained technicians in a laboratory. And it is easier and it can be run by a nurse in the office. And we schedule that for 2013. So our market. We have a three-pronged approach to targeting our market, which is first we are in phase A, which we are terming the HOPE process, and currently we are in healthcare facilities testing this process right now. As we move into 2013, we have phase B. That is the investigational use of our Pandora's box. It will not be FDA, FDA approved at this point, but it will allow us to enter the pharmaceutical industry for clinical trial testing and also to um, obtain government grants and contracts. And phase three, which would be 2015, is when we anticipate having FDA approval for our device, which will open up all three of these markets for us. So who is doing this now? Who's our competition? Right now, we're competing against the reference labs, the Quest Diagnostics of the world, where you send off your sample, and it takes a long time to get it back. And the results that you get are not necessarily something that can be interpreted and brought into the clinic. So that's where we are right now in phase A. And as we move into phase B, um, and we move into pharmaceutical companies, we will be indirectly competing with academic labs that currently do this testing. However, our device will allow us to bring testing on site to the clinical trial. So imagine a phase three clinical trial study where you can take genetic information from patients right there on the site. 
phase three at many different sites around the world, you now can do the genetic information and have it sent back to the pharmaceutical company for analysis. And then Pandora's box in phase three, the FDA approved model. Um, there are some point of care devices that are on the market, but they are not as comprehensive. Not all of them test for genes and they are not handheld and not as easy to use. So, and also the, when we, we're also bringing down costs because um, we, the, it's cost of the equipment and the cost per test will be much lower. Our sales and distribution will occur through direct sales as we are doing right now in phase A. And as we move into our phase B and phase C of Pandora's box, we will go to a distributor model where we will contract with a medical device uh, distribution company that is experienced in dealing with medical devices and pharmaceutical companies to sell both the Pandora's box and the test cartridges that fit into this box. And for our financial projections, the, we have um, right now in 2011 and 2012, we are in phase A. So right now, this, these revenues are being driven by our Pandora, by the HOPE process software, which we are testing right now. And in 2013, 2014, that's when we expect to be in phase B, where we will have our Pandora's box for investigational use in government contracts and also in pharmaceutical companies um, for clinical trial testing. And 2015 is when we expect to have rollout um, into with FDA approval so that we can now be in all three of our markets. And as a best case scenario, if we look at the revenues for five year projections, combined revenues, we expect to be in the $300 million range five years out from 2015. So this is our team. Um, our team consists of the two co-founders, which me and Philip Arlen, we are both um, experienced researchers. We are at MD Anderson Cancer Center right now, and um, we have extensive experience in clinical trial design and implementation. We have a few clinical trials running right now through the hospital, and we are also experienced in bringing in vitro diagnostics from the laboratory all the way through to commercialization. And right now we actually have a test that we are working with uh, bringing to market with a small business in the area. And we have a team of advisors, who, um, two of whom are former DARPA contract program managers, and we have a um, IP team. So Pandora Genomics represents a great opportunity in many ways. We feel it's a great investment opportunity, and we also feel it, it, it is a great way to change medicine, to change, make medicine personal. People have talked about personalized medicine and and it, what the promise that it holds, but really it ha we haven't seen that happen. And we really feel that one of the problems is, is that it's just too difficult. And our process and our device, which integrates this whole process software with the Pandora box handheld genetic testing technology, enables this genetic testing, personalized medicine to come on site into the doctor's office where it actually matters. Because it takes a long time to get results right now. If you can have those results within the office visit, then your physician can make a decision right then and there and help with your treatment plan. If you can have this happening during clinical trials easily and quickly when you run large clinical trials of thousands of people and you can collect that data easily, then this information that will allow us to understand how drugs work better and for whom they work will get out in the market faster. So we will use this money if we are awarded the IDEA grant to secure additional intellectual property. We will use it to complete the development of our software in interface of the HOPE process into our Pandora's box and a web-based interface and um, decision app. And we will do additional market research. And at the end of the grant period, we will be ready for Series A funding in the amount of $5 million. Thank you very much.